estate to real estate. It's Money Matters with Dina. What are the things that people should get covered to protect them, especially considering how uh, how obviously expensive it could be? And I think we we answered with a, a lot of cover, you know, a lot of dollar amounts on liability. But what are the other things that that people should have um, in their policy? Well, well, the first thing about? that that I do and that I encourage our other producers to do is before you just hop in and start throwing numbers is 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 pretend you're a doctor and do a little diagnosing before you prescribe. Mm -hmm. Find out what they have, what they own, what's important to them. And then once we get into the Raider, then we can we can kind of figure out what they need. As far as what we generally recommend is is you know the, there's only really 5 to 7 parts to a policy, but all those parts have different options. Is I try to go through each one. You know, I always encourage higher liability. I always encourage uninsured motors, which you'd be shocked how people don't have it. And we're going to talk you, about you that. This. I uninsured definitely. motors is a, is a wonderful coverage. For, for everybody listening, explain why you need uninsured coverage. What is it? Uninsured motorist pays for your injuries if someone hits you that is either uninsured or underinsured, pays for your time off work, pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. It pays a lot. And you can get an equal limit to your liability. So you can get a 100, 300, and that's 100,000 per person, 300,000 as we use those numbers, yes. a 250, 500, or even a million of uninsured motors.